This family health and wellness segment is brought to you by GlaxoSmithKline Consumer Healthcare. Ready, steady, knit. Be part of the GSK Scarves for Schools project, proudly sponsored by MedLemon. Yes, the campaign has kicked off again. The Scarves to Schools, sponsored by MedLemon campaign, kicks off after phenomenal successes last year. We have come here to Arbor Village to join this incredible knitting circle to kick off the campaign with a masterclass. There's nothing like a hand-knitted scarf to make a child feel special. That's why GSK's MedLemon aims to collect 2,500 scarves. Carl Vivier will lend a hand. We get a warm buzz when we think about the campaign beginning afresh last year I think left a, a really deep mark on everyone involved from the communities to those doing the knitting what did it mean to you personally it was really inspirational and, and so rewarding to be part of the campaign um, our aim with this campaign is really straightforward and twofold firstly we just want to do good we really want to help those in need and secondly we really want to show people how far a small goodwill gesture can actually go something as small as knitting a scarf can truly make a difference in someone's life and that's what we hope will inspire other people to also do a lot in their own lives to help those in need did you think your colleagues would embrace it in the way that they did not not at all and and that was a great thing to actually see people really getting involved and i think that really shows you when it's the winter time and it's such a difficult time of the year for people that have less than us other people are really up and, and coming to really get involved um, and really do as much as they can to help those around them. Of course, the brand has a very special connection to this time of the year, yes, but this speaks about a deeper connection to the community, to your market. It's about creating healthy families, healthy children. Exactly. Made Lemon um, is known as the hard-working calls and flu fighter, which is really relevant during the cold winter months. But that's why this project is so great, because it gives us the opportunity to take that positive momentum forward and help people stay warmer for a little bit longer, even if they're not sick. Last year was such a huge success and really did make a mark. What are we wanting to achieve this year? This year is just bigger and better. It was so successful last year that we truly just want to keep that positive momentum going. So we want to really increase the, the reach that we've got with this project. More people getting involved, more scarves being donated to more children that really need them. Now listening to the whir of needles around us, I think you and I are in for a masterclass today. What does it make you feel like to see the response from these lovely ladies today getting behind our campaign? Look, I'm completely out of my depth when it comes to this quality of knitting. So I'm very, I'm very inspired by the, the tips that I'm gonna be picking up today. But I think what's truly inspiring is the way that people are coming together and really putting in a lot of effort to help other people when they need it. The Knitting Circle ladies confirm that the secret is to try and try again. With a more experienced pair of needles by your side, you can soon get the hang of it. Rose, even in my brief time with the ladies that have joined us here this morning, I've been blown away by the big hearts. What do you think it is about the ladies here at Arbor Village and your knitting circle that makes them so special? I think it's the motivation. I think it's uh, when somebody comes here, they've usually knitted some time in their life, but when they arrive here, it's the fellowship, the being together. Now to know that these scarves aren't just going to be handed out to the family, but going to young children who desperately need the help, desperately need to stay healthy and warm through a very cold winter, how does that make you feel? Graham, that's why they knit, that's why they come, that's why they spend their time here. It's not only the fellowship, it's the fact they're doing something. You don't even have to go anywhere, but right here, it's a fellowship, it's a serving of the community, and I think it's just wonderful. They're all wonderful ladies. Lynn, I have to thank you as well for such a warm welcome here at Arbor Village. I've been blown away by the response from the ladies. It is so great to see people embracing this campaign. How did it all come about? How did you guys get involved? I received a call from the brand asking me to get involved in a project which um, was to knit scarves for a primary school. And as we have a knit club involved at Arbor Village, uh, we had a captured audience, so to speak, of ready knitters. It's lovely. Um, I think charity does begin at home, but it also begins um, by passing on the, um, what do they say, pay it forward. Oh, well, I think I've still got a few more years of knitting to get under the belt before I can join the ranks of this incredible knitting circle. 
Ladies, I'm proud to call you my sisters. Thank you so much for opening your arms to me and for joining what is going to be an incredible campaign. I hope this has inspired you guys at home to do the same. Go and get your will, go and get your needles, even if you are completely useless like me, you can still make a difference. This year we want to surpass last year's successes and we're going to only be able to do that with your help. All right, I think I dropped a stitch, sorry. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Ready to knit along? SMS GSK to 33728 and we'll send you all the information. That's GSK to 33728. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, T's and C's apply. Knit along so a child can study without being cold this winter. Support the GSK Scarves for Schools project, proudly sponsored by MedLemon.